Ladies and gentlemen, on SABC 404. Thank you very much for sticking with us. I must tell you, it's been an exciting night so far. Joining us right now on Sports Live is winner of the very first edition of the Swan Open, Davi van der Waal. Davi, thank you very much for joining us on the show. I know you're busy inside accepting a whole lot of gifts. Here it is. Now that Swan Open, as far as it's concerned for you, you are the first winner of this or prestigious competition as we like to know it now. Right, yeah, thanks for having me. Yeah, the Tuana Open will always be, uh, you know, dear to my heart. It was my first big win in South Africa um, as a professional and co-sanctioned with the European Tour and the, the opportunity it presents and the doors it's opened for me um, has been tremendous, you know, and this every time I go, it doesn't matter where I go in the world, the people always seem to, they can never pronounce the Swanee Open, <laughs> but they, they try, especially in America, and yeah. they all remember my first win, yeah. you know, so being back at this tournament is obviously a, you know, great honor for me, and uh, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, speak about that, I mean, after the, the Swanee Open, then you went on to win the Nelson Mandela Challenge as well, so this kind of competition sort of like a shot in the arm when you won it, and we saw how uh, I think George as well did when he won the Joburg Open a, uh, a couple of years back. It is one of those competitions when you win at home, it kind of opens the doors and you say, look, I can't compete in Europe, there's nothing that's stopping me, I can actually win the big ones as well. Right, but b besides that, you know, that um, got me to win the Order of Merit because I won the Nelson mm -hmm. Mandela too. Um, which got me into the British Open. I mean, an unbelievable opportunity. Um, unfortunately, I didn't um, the perform out. quite as well. Yeah. I missed the cut by a shot there. But, you know, the, the, it's the chances that you get to perform everywhere else in the world starting year is tremendous and that's all you can ask for well, most important as well it's 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 for you guys the golfers at home because i think the the perception is when you speak of golf in south africa you only want to speak of the ernie's because well these are ernie else and then come to tiger who was the darren clarks it also gives you guys the local golfers that kind of time in the spotlight if you can put it that way it's not only those guys who play golf there's also the likes of yourselves who can stick it out to the big boys if i can put it that way right i mean and coming back to winning the Swan Open the first time, you know, I got to play in a lot of events where I see Ernie playing, I played, you know, in the Dubai um, Swing Classic where, I would, where you'd see Tiger and you can measure your game up to the best in the world. So the platform that this will give you, I mean, you can't describe how, how big it is if you can pull a win off here and the doors will open to you. Yeah. You get to see all the, the, you get into the bigger fields, the bigger events. Um, the World Golf Championships, yeah. majors and stuff, and you see, get to see all these players and you can measure your game up to them and you can see that they're not that far ahead of you, um, you know, because we always put them on a pedestal mm -hmm. and think, you know, they're so good, but I've been in, in a couple of tournaments, you know, where, where I used to grow up and idolize him and, you know, and it all started in South Africa. Mm -hmm with this tournament. I think most of us in the media as well are probably to blame because we don't give you as much coverage. But here it is. Today you had a quick run out there in the Pro-Am. What does it feel like? I mean, obviously you get a feel before the tournament proper begins. What does it feel like out there? Right, I mean, the Pro-Am, you generally just try to get a feel for the golf course, the speed of the green and stuff. Um, with the handicap system, you know, it's... The pro can't really win it. Yeah. It's more the Emmy. So I got lucky. I got three good Emmys with with high handicaps. I think you came second. Did you? Yeah, I think we finished <laughs> second. So you know, I think I made a birdie. I helped him on one hole. It's yeah. hard to help them. You know, it's it's a lot easier to make a par for a birdie than it is to make a real birdie. So you know, just in the prime, you get to hang out with the people, the sponsors, get to know some of the people, and uh, you know, kind of give back to to the tournament for the you know the members hosting us for this week. Mm -hmm. Now, finally, twenty fourth in the Dimension Data. Just missed the cut in the Joburg Open, Africa Open as well um, last week. Big things expecting from, from especially a South African. We'd like to see another South African win. In right. The, in I mean, year. in this game, you're never far off. You know, I, I played really well in the Middle East. I felt like um, in Dubai, Abu Dhabi and Qatar. And then had two weeks off. I came back. You know, I was a little sick. Um, you know, so my scores hasn't been quite as good as I would like it to be. But I don't feel like I'm all that far off. In golf, yeah. things can turn around very easily like when I won the Swan Air I wasn't expecting to win that you know and things come when you least expect it yeah well Davi I tell you what I spoke to Trevor Fisher at the Joburg Open and I said you promised me a beer if you win something he didn't win the Joburg Open but went into win the Africa Open so he still owes me a beer for that one if you win this one you owe me a beer as well fine I'll buy you as many beers as you can drink if I win <laughs> the Swan Open again Davi von der Waals winner of the first Swan Air Open speaking to us right and Sports Live thank you very much indeed to him we take a quick break when you return more from the Pretoria Country Club stay tuned